Join us as we visit Hollywood Studios. We check out all the amazing rides, have delicious food, and enjoy a lot of amazing shows. Hey everyone and welcome back to Family of Three. Um, we're here at Disney World again. Uh, today we're at Disney's Hollywood Studios for our fourth park. So it's going to be good to check that out. Um, we're waiting in line currently to get in. It's moving reasonably fast, so lots of crowds though. Um, but yeah, today we've done a little differently. We have actually paid for the Genie Plus experience. So we're going to be skipping some of the queues just to make our life a little bit easier because we're really starting to feel the... Um, the effects of being here for a long time and lots of walking. So yeah, we'll get inside, uh, make our way probably to one of the lesser populated rides just because we have the Genie Plus bookings for some of the more sort of longer queue ones. just finished up on the Slinky Dog ride. It was lots of fun and I really enjoyed it. But now we're going on the Toy Story Mania ride, which is like a shooter game, sort of like the Buzz Lightyear one we did in Magic Kingdom. So after an amazing time in Toy Story Land, we've made our way across to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. It's the newest land here at Hollywood Studios and one we've been wanting to really check out. Uh, it wasn't open when we went to um, Disneyland in California. So yeah, we've been looking forward to it for a little while and yeah, amazing theming, amazing land to visit. Uh, we really wanted to check out the Millennium Falcon, so that was the first ride we went on. Okay, we're heading over to where you can get the green and blue milk. This is going to be very interesting to try. It will be interesting to see if we like the taste of it. We're not so sure, but we're going to give it a go. So fingers crossed. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, here's the blue milk. We're going to give it a go. The lady said this one has a bit more of a tropical taste, where the green one has more of a citrus taste. So they're done all like one's coconut milk and one's rice milk. So they're um, actually plant based. So here we go. It actually tastes a bit like a slushie. Like it, for some reason, it reminds me of an ice book from when I was a kid. It's not that bad actually. I don't mind it. So we just finished off the blue milk. It's quite yummy. Yes, if milk, all milk tasted like that, I'll probably have more milk. Uh, but yeah, I did, we forgot we didn't tell you what we thought of the Millennium Falcon ride as well. So really fun, really interactive. That's I think what really makes the ride is the fact that it's so interactive. Um, Madison and myself were the co-pilots. I was doing the left right, Madison was doing the up down, and Rebecca was doing the shooting. So there was just the three of us in the um, ride before the ship. Um, so yeah, lots of fun. I think I'll probably put some of the other rides we've been on a little bit higher, but um, that's just my personal opinion. But yeah, lots Lots of fun. Okay, from the market we got Jack Jack's Cookie Nom Nom, which looks amazing. And then Mason is trying every churro from every park. And so this is the last one to try. So give it a go and tell us which one you think is the best out of all four parks. Yeah, you're sure you This one. That one? The churro you yesterday had a flavour inside. She didn't like the flavouring yeah. inside. So that's painted out. But this one's the best. Because originally it was Magic Kingdom, so that bit Magic Kingdom did it. Yeah. Uh, 
and I also got myself a hot cocoa because it's quite chilly today. It has been chillier than we thought it was going to be on the trip. It was actually forecast to be more in the 20s, but it's been more low sort of tens. So it is a bit chilly, so we're actually more rugged up, which is a bit of a shame because we all had Disney tops, t-shirts and things to wear. And we're pretty much wearing jerseys the whole time, but <laughs> that's what it is. got to keep warm. Yeah, you do. So you want to try the cookie num num? Oh, I don't know if I can get into it. Is it warm? It's warm. It's as good as the one in California. Oh, good. After finishing a bite to eat, uh, we took advantage of the photo opportunities that were in the area we were in. Um, they had quite a few in the one little location, so we got to do quite a few different photos with the Incredibles, um, as well as a few other characters that they had around the area. So that was really cool. As we made our way to see the Beauty and the Beast show, we got to see our first glimpse of Tower of Terror. But yeah, we were so excited about seeing the show, especially me. I really love seeing all the different Disney shows they have in each of the parks. Wow, that was a fantastic show. After that, we headed to Runaway Railroad and it was an incredible ride. I really enjoyed this one. As the afternoon went on, we got to check out Daisy Duck. Um, it's really cool getting to see the characters around the park. Uh, but then we made our way onto the Indiana Jones Epic Stunt Spectacular. After an amazing show, we made our way back towards Toy Story Land where we got to see the amazing soldiers doing their march. And then we made our way to Woody's Lunchbox for um, a very late lunch. We heard a lot of great things about the place so we really wanted to check out what they had to offer. There's lunchbox now and we've got a big range of food to try and we've got also the really interesting tarts that they have on the menu which have got both flavours so it's going to be interesting to see what they're like. I think one was strawberry and one was chocolate so looking forward to digging in. So it's a really good sandwich. Um, we did mobile order probably what about an hour or an hour and a half ago um, just because the space gets so busy. But it is worth it. It's worth the wait if you want to get the food. But yeah, definitely do mobile order if you can. Each park has its own theming uh, when it comes to the shops. Um, Hollywood Studios obviously has a lot of shops that are geared towards Star Wars, um, which 
doesn't really interest us when it comes to merchandise so we didn't really buy a lot in this park uh, but yeah it's still great to have a look around and just check out what they have as well So we made our way over to Star Wars Galaxy Edge again to explore more of the land. The theming is so incredible over here and we decided to have a look at a few of the shops as we were getting close to our booking for Ogre's Canteen. We were really looking forward to trying the drinks there. It's um, known to be quite unusual and interesting drinks but yeah so we decided to do a bit more exploring all around the Star Wars area because as I said the theming is incredible. Hey, could we get one of the Cokes and one of the Sprites? Yeah. Thanks. So, Coke and Sprite, that means we have 50 credits. Yeah. Star Wars Galaxy Edge is such an immersive land it's such a bonus for hollywood studio i think it's bringing in a lot more crowds we've really enjoyed ourselves in this land it's so immersive but as i said before we were going to go to the ogre's canteen we made a booking months in advance because it does um, book up fast you'll either get put at a seating booth or you have to do standing at like the bars we were lucky enough to get a seat The drinks here are so unique and interesting. There are alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks. We went for the non-alcoholic and we also got picked ourselves up a snack. It was a little bit spicy, but we still really enjoyed it. Wow, so what an afternoon we've had. Uh, we had a fantastic lunch. The food was absolutely delicious. Again, highly recommend it. Um, and then from there, we went and did lots of photos. We managed to get heaps of photos of different characters and just of the photographers around the um, park. And we also checked out some of the shops before making our way to Canteen. Now, Canteen uh, is probably not something you've got to book. Uh, it's really popular. But yeah, it's the drinks are delicious. There's a huge variety of really unique stuff. And the atmosphere is amazing. So yeah, we really enjoyed that. And while we were there, we actually um, found out that Rise of the Resistance, the queue, was quite a lot shorter. So we made haste, uh, we quickly raced up into the queue and joined in. I think while well, it was only about 90 minutes long, um, it wasn't 90 minutes, it was a lot longer in the end, but it was definitely still an amazing ride. Um, the theming in the ride is fantastic. The storytelling is great. Is it worth a couple of hours? Ah, I'll leave that up to you. Um, we did like it. It, as I, it was a long time to wait. So from here I think we're also going to be making our way to the Fantasmic show shortly. It's about to start um, in a little while so we want to get in there and get a good seat. Um, so we'll see you soon. So we're here at Fantasmic. Uh, we're going to be watching the show in a few minutes and then I think we're going to do one more show before we head off. But yeah we'll throw you to some footage of what Fantastic's going to be like. After an amazing fantastic show, we quickly made our way across for the next show, which was on the Chinese theatre. From time to time, people ask me which is the favourite of all the pictures that we made.
As with all the parks, we visited each one twice. Um, Hollywood Studios, our second day was unfortunately a wet morning. It didn't stop us though, Madison and myself really enjoyed Rock and Roller Coaster. And then I made my way across to Tower of Terror, which I really enjoyed, fantastic ride. Okay, we're about to check out the Muppet Show. I'll show you what the theatre looks like. I can't film the show. But here's the theatre. Okay, so it's our second day in Hollywood Studios. We planned on filming for the day for you and showing more things around here. But it's ended up being so wet. As you can see, we're drown rats. Yeah, it's, um, we were going to stick around for a little while and get all the things done. We did mm. get pretty much everything we want done though, So, but I think we're going to call it a day and head back and get yeah. warmed up. We were hoping to get to um, Disney Springs as well this afternoon, so it probably makes sense to head back and just get a little bit warmer. Yeah, they're saying it's hopefully going to clear in the late afternoon, so fingers crossed. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed coming and seeing Hollywood Studios with us. We weren't able to get much more film today as it is wet, but sorry about that. But I hope you've enjoyed the footage that we have been able to get. Yeah, and if you like our videos, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you again next time. Bye! Bye.